St. Lawrence's Virtual Sunday School. This is a special edition for Remembrance Sunday, which is this year on the 8th of November. So we'll be talking about poppies, and remembering those who died in the wars. So first of all, we're going to have a short prayer, then I'm going to read some poems. One, a very, very famous one by somebody who was there in World War I in the trenches. And then a few others, some by children. And then we'll put together a little activity and then we'll finish with another prayer. Okay, I'll show them now. So, right, if you'd like to put your hands together for the prayer. A prayer for remembrance. Ever living God, we remember those whom you have gathered from the storm of war into the peace of your presence. May that same peace calm our fears, bring justice to all peoples and establish harmony among the nations. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So, read some poems now. We've got a really <laughs> famous one next that Mummy will read out. It's called In Flanders Fields. In Flanders Fields, written by Major John McRae in 1915. In Flanders Fields the poppies blow, between the crosses, row on row, that mark our place. And in the sky the larks, still bravely singing, fly, scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead. Short days ago we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe, to you from failing hands we throw the torch, be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields. Now that is a very famous poem that describes the First World War and some of the battles in it, especially in fields in a place called Flanders, in France and Belgium mainly, most of the battles happened. And when the men, all the um, gunshots and all the bombs that fell in those fields made them all churned up, and that's the sort of areas that poppies like to grow. So after the battles were over, they saw fields of poppies spring to life. And that became the symbol for remembrance of the First World War initially, and then every other war since. So I'll now read a few other little poems to explain more about the poppy. This one was very famous. You've probably heard it being read out in church. Okay, so I'll read this. Red is the colour of remembrance. Red is for the courage of those that served. Red is for the carnage into which they were hurled. Red is for the explosions that rang around their heads. Red is for the colour of the blood that they shed. Red is for the skies glow when they lost their lives. Red is for the anger at their sacrifice. Red is for the seal on the war office mail. Red is for the tearful eyes behind the widow's veil. Red is for the wreath on the soldier's grave. Red is for the poppy worn to remember the brave. And that was by Richard Archer, very moving. Now that describes why we all wear red poppies. Because it's supposed to signify the blood spilt and the sacrifice given by those who did not return from the world wars, especially World War One. Very sad. So this next one. Is a bit simpler, a bit more yeah. for children. You might want to learn also it. Also explains more about poppies. Poppy, poppy. 
What do you see? Poppies in the battlefield as red as can be. Poppy, Poppy, what do you hear? Silence for the men who died, so full of courage, yet so full of fear. Poppy, Poppy, what do you feel? Proud and respectful, soldiers fought for their country, the battles were real. Poppy, Poppy, what do you say? Remember them on the 11th of November, they fought for peace on earth. Let's show respect for remembrance. Now this is a simple little poem, but it does mention Armistice Day, which is on the 11th day of the 11th month. And Armistice Day is when they signed the pact for the end of World War I Woo! in 1918. And they actually signed it on the 11th hour of the, the 11th day, day of, of the, the 11th, 11th month. month. And so that is why we always have a two minute silence at that exact time every year. To remember those who died. Might be a little hard to read this one, but you know. Okay. A poem for Remembrance Day. The inquisitive mind of a child. That's the title. Why are you selling poppies, mummy? Selling poppies in town today? The poppies, child, are flowers of love. For the men who marched away. But why have they chosen a poppy, mummy? Why not a beautiful rose? Because, my child, men fought and died in the fields where the poppies grow. But why are the poppies so red, mummy? Why are the poppies so red? Red is the colour of blood, my child. The blood that our soldiers shed. The heart of the poppy is black, mummy. Why does it have to be black? Black, my child, is the symbol of grief for the men who never came back. But why, mummy, are you crying so? Your tears are giving you pain. My tears are my fears for you, my child, for the world is forgetting again. That's by author unknown. So we don't know who wrote that, but it was written actually for Anzac Day. I don't know if everyone knows, but many of the Commonwealth countries fought alongside our own troops in World War I and World War II. They came all the way from their own countries to volunteer to fight in our armies. And many of those were also, unfortunately, never got back to their own countries. They were killed on the battlefield too. So they need to be remembered as well. And there is a special day for some of them called the Anzacs, which is the Australians and the New Zealanders and the Canadians who came and helped us win World War One and later on for World War Two. And they have their own special day. Oh. Ah, so that's the poems. Um, this is now a picture that you might all recognise from last year, if not from this year, if you haven't been into church, of our church, St Lawrence's, and their beautiful homemade, handmade cascade of poppies with all the names on there, of the people who have made them and some of the people who have passed away and are being remembered. Aren't they absolutely beautiful? And they're all knitted or Hand. felt or something. And every single one is put together with love. You might want to make one of your own and then maybe you can add it. I don't know if you know it. <laughs> but it's, <laughs> it's a beautiful cascade. So if you're in church, um, make sure to. Fortunately, at, during the new lockdown, that might be a little difficult. So it might still be there afterwards, or if not, there's some pictures around. Right, use the next bit away. Okay. Uh, everyone, close your eyes for a moment, or we could just carry on. Okay, so that's part of the activity. Carry on. What? Just... Carry on. 
So this is a, a little sort of ditty, I suppose, that you can learn and can, um, tells you why you wear a puppy. You can probably make up actions. I'll wear a little poppy. As red as red can be. To show that I remember. Those who fought for me. That's just a little thing that you might be able to do at home. Now we are wearing poppies, it's just you can't really see them. Yeah. So most of them are based round the red poppy with the black oh. middle. Yes. However, they're not the only poppies that um, you can buy and you can have and you can remember people by. Most people have the red, but there are some others that Catherine's going to tell us about. <laughs> so, of course, there's the standard red. Here we go. Maybe we can take it off and show it to the camera. Oh, good idea. <laughs> Or oh, there are knitted ones, or just Jewelry ones, ones from the Royal British Legion. I'm sure you've got some of those. Or there are these wristband ones, of course. Well, Everyone loves bracelet. this. <laughs> Woo! Wristbands. However, right. Catherine's wristbands are in different colours. Yes. So we've got this black wristband. It actually has a bit of poppy on it. Don't worry about that. But it's black. See. So black poppies represent mummy. All those people of black origin, ethnic minorities, Asians, those Different from the Caribbean, races. everybody else who fought alongside the British and felt they are British um, in the world wars and every war since. Okay. Then you've got one of my favourites. The purple poppy, woo! Which I recently just discovered myself, and that's for all the animals who fought in the war. So, carrier pigeons, dog. I love that one. Dogs. I think rats. Horses. Did rats do something? I don't know. I if thought rats they did. Particularly do something. I thought they did. Oh. But lots of animals helped. Um, to get the troops to the front and provide supplies and yes the carrier pigeons were very good at carrying messages back from the front that weren't being intercepted and then there's the white poppy this isn't an actual white poppy it's just one that hasn't been colored in but we could leave it blank and the white poppy is to represent peace so, my dad wears a white puppy. Don't really know anyone else who does. But <laughs> so the white puppy is that you still remember those who died. However, you wish to show that you think war is not a good idea in the first place, and that people should try and talk to each other and find of similarities between themselves rather than always their differences. And so try and prevent wars starting in the first place. Yeah. Now we're going to do a little activity. And we're back to the white poppy. Poppy. Right. So there is a template coming up, but we will also get the link out to you in the Friday email. Three, two, one. Oh, exactly. <laughs> so what you would do make your poppy and say ours is white but you can make the red or the purple or, or the black so i'm sure could, there's a yellow somewhere no there's not a yellow okay, somewhere but you yellow. could make a bouquet of poppies if you wish to. so what you do is you take the template that's on the screen and i will take this one out a bit to show you how to build it again i hope you can see some little they kind of look like mice don't they i mean here you got an eye, and then what well, you just look so. Like what you do is you print out from the link we'll send, Another one. and cut out the template and the extra long lines that go in the middle. Can you just point them out? That are, that are black coming in, 
Oh, okay. These long lines here mm -hmm. need to be cut through to make sure the petals can move. They need to be cut through, everybody. But not all the way, just the end of the line. Just to the end. So the black dots. So to there, you mean? Yes. Okay. So the black dots in the corners. That look like my sons. Are actually holes. So you have to. Oh create a hole with something you might want to ask an adult to help you there Maybe. i struggled a bit and i am an adult <laughs> but never mind it's um so you make little holes the books are actually broken Who's this bits again. scissors are okay but they might make a hole that's too big and that's the problem with the hole punch as well. That's why we that. What you want to do is fold the hole at the end mm. into the middle. So this one goes to there. So like that. Is that what I just do? From there to there. Yep. Okay. And then all the others follow it. So the next one goes into the middle. And the next one goes into the middle. And the final one goes into the middle. So what you've made the is four puppy. petals of a poppy. And because you will now have little holes in all of these petals, you can get oh, one of these all those brass things. pins. Oh, the flat things, paper fasteners. Yeah, that sort of thing. Is that what something like that? <laughs> I don't. And you can put it through all of them at once. I love from those front to back. Things. Before you do that, do you can colour with a sharpie the centre of the pin, so it goes black. Does look black. Like the inside of a poppy. Yeah, it does look black. And you stick it all the way through. Hold it out. all the way through and then you can open them on the other side like that or you can keep them closed and sort of bend them into a sort of stalk slightly bent petals are not staying yeah. and then put some blue tack around it I thought we needed to fold them against the leaves. Pattern. And then you get a straw. And then you can get a green straw or something similar, or you can paint a paper straw. Make sure it's paper. Well, this one isn't silicon. Yeah, but it's reusable. That's reusable. So reusable straw or a paper straw that you can recycle. And you push your piece of blue tack into the straw. Yeah. And you end up with what's called a pinwheel puppy. Pin and you blow it. Not very well. <laughs> Is it meant to be? Blown? It sort of moves. So like a windmill. A windmill when you do it beautifully yourselves, you can probably make it move. And there's your stays it, pinwheel poppy. I can say you can make the red ones, the normal ones, you can make white ones, you can make purple ones, you can make black ones. And as Catherine says, I'm sure you could make some others. Um, you can make two of them. Um, and put them at sort of right angles to each other. Really? Yeah, so you get more yeah. petals, yes. And there's your activity for a pinwheel poppy. Oh, so the final thing I was going to mention I was, was why we donate money to get these poppies. I was. Who do we donate the money to, Catherine? The Royal British Legion. <laughs> That's a bit more confidently. The Royal British Legion. That is correct. Oh, yes. And the Royal British Legion 
was opened in 1921 and has been there ever since to help the families of those who never came back and to help those who have come back with serious injuries, both mental and physical injuries, to help rehabilitation and recuperation. And so we keep donating um, every year to raise lots of money for the Royal British Legion to help them with their incredibly important work on that. So I think we will now just finish with the Lord. No. no, apparently we won't. We will now have Catherine reading something else that she's <laughs> written, I think. <laughs> yes. Trying to stop sharing okay. this little. Yeah, I think. I'll just go back to which poem shall we choose? Go for this one, it's most like an acrostic. So you've probably heard the word acrostic before. And yesterday I was writing one for Armistice Day. So an acrostic is a poem that's so say poppy for instance. It's a poem where you write the letters of the word in a big long line, one letter per line, and then next to them you write a sentence or a word that represents the a part of the word. <laughs> you know? Okay, so I'll read mine. Armistice. A Armistice Day remembers those who have shed blood onto the battlefield. Red petals fall onto the ground, surrounding those lying still. Mournful families grieve for the loss of their loved ones. Indigo skies blanket and cease the gunshots. Shell shock overtakes brave hearts. Tears of grief overflow and fall onto the battlefield. In memory of the fallen, courageously they fight on in sight of the end. Even though many are lost, they fight on. And I named that poem, They Fight On. I hope you worked out where the letters were. That wasn't that lovely. Maybe you can make up an acrostic poem. For, for poppy remembrance or remembrance or any of those words. And Zach, can you spell that? A N Z A C. A N Z A C. New what? Right. Shall we end with the Lord's yes, Prayer? We shall now. So we're just going to bring up the Lord's Prayer now. So, oh dear. Camera's gone monkey, silly. You know. <laughs> it's the wrong camera boot. Yeah. So Catherine will say this. Oh goody. Oh both. Okay. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Hi, thank you for listening to our Sunday School. I know many of you would have actually been in the Membrance Day Parade on mm. Sunday, but unfortunately it's not happening. However, there is still stuff online all about Remembrance. Mm -hmm. And at 9.30 on Sunday, which will probably be before you see this, <laughs> um, Mike is holding the normal sat service, but that will also be on YouTube. And then the Queen and all the dignitaries will be at the Cenotaph, the memorial in London, to lay their wreaths. That will still be going ahead, but there'll be no parade. And then apparently a bit later on again at midday, our own 
mayor and constable will be laying wreaths at our memorial. So again, that will all be on um, YouTube or online somewhere for you to find. Why even be on live TV? Well, the cenotaph definitely will be. <laughs> yeah, but oh my, ours, we might be lucky. Oh, remember? I'm sure links will be going around to, to put get on to your them. poppies. So please, yes, continue to buy your poppies. Let's stand up so we can show all of our poppies. Three, two, one, go! So I have, if I remember rightly, this one which was on my neck. I'll just you say yours. So I have. You can't even see them. The centenary yeah. of World War One. That was in 2018. I have a beautiful jewellery set of poppies. They're very pretty. I wear them all the time. But I still donate to the Royal British Legion every year. And I have one that says thank you. Oh, that's lovely. And that's right. another one that's... 1918 to 2018, so another one that's the centenary of the First World War. And then I, I have four wristbands, the yellow one, actually, hold on, I'll show the others because that's different. Got the green one, got, ow, the black one, remember, wear black poppies, which you've all seen. Got the purple one. Support the animals. Woo woo. Remember them. Which you should also probably wear if you want. And then we've got the yellow one, which is just different. <laughs> and then my badges. I've got this one that I think you can hang on to your school bag if you want mm -hmm. to show your support. And there's the knitted one. Where did mm -hmm. we get? Can't remember. We shared this one. Then I think in order was 2015. Got 1915 to 2015 here, and then got. Oh. They come out every year. Please. I've got two 1917 to 2011, which is strange. Mm -hmm. And then. Oh, I meant 2017. And we've got 2018 and we've got 2019. And we have yet to buy our 2020. Uh, we'll be going oh well. to the shop soon. That one says 2018. And this one, not that one. All right, thank you very much for listening to our and Sunday this school. This one is 2019. See you at the zoo! Bye! Bye.